All right, so let's watch this. This is a video by Botox Media. This guy got early copies of Violet and Scarlet. Dude, what do I got to do to get early copies? Like, oh my God, I want that. Anyway, so this guy played them and is going to talk, I guess, about all the version differences and what Pokemon are exclusive to one versus the other, something like that. So let's take a look at it, and I'm going to, you know... Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are nearly here. I have the games early, and I have confirmed every version exclusive between both games. Scarlet exclusives, Violet exclusives. All of that information is in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, exactly what I need to know. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you can do me a favor before we get right into the information, please consider subscribing. I've been posting a ton of Scarlet and Violet early gameplay videos and all this fun stuff, impressions, these kinds of things. The support recently has been crazy. I really do appreciate it, but I don't want to bore you with all. Okay, uh, I will link this guy's video in the description of this video, by the way, in case you're wondering. So if you want to go help this guy out, go ahead and give him a sub. That's, that's cool with me. That's fine the nonsense we're just gonna go right into this if you are trying to decide which version of pokemon scarlet or violet to get this is the video for you we're just gonna go right into all of the version differences now before we get into pokemon like actual species there are a couple things to consider first thing is your mount okay first off i don't know what the last gen of pokemon game was like but um did they have mounts and if so did, did they look like this because okay well that's a pretty significant difference one of the big features of this game is that you okay look there's a perfect example side by side so we have the red drake and the blue drake i guess is effectively what that is and they have like tires for butts okay uh i personally i mean i like the color blue the one on the left looks cooler the one on the right's my uh, more close to my favorite color that's gonna be a tough decision based off that let's keep going you actually mount the legendary Pokemon Maridon or Coridon. All of these things will depend on your personal preference for designs or what Pokemon you want, but this one's pretty big because you will be seeing this Pokemon throughout the entire Is that you said you'll be seeing this Pokemon throughout the entire game? That's officially like actually a Pokemon? Like have we <laughs> have we gone so far down the rabbit hole of like obscure Pokemon designs that now we actually have Pokemon that have tires on their chest and tires for a butt that we can ride around like okay okay I guess I'm just not in the loop with Pokemon nowadays I'm just I'm I'm a boomer I guess higher game you will be using it as a bike essentially oh, uh, wait wait I saw it. this one's pretty big because you will be seeing this Pokemon throughout it's the got entire game you will be using we got Mareep. Oh, there's even a little fanny or whatever the heck it's called. The evolved it that. a bike, essentially. Uh, Violet gets... There's the... I can't remember. They started the C, I think. Maridon and Scarlet gets Coridon. You will also have different clothes options based on your game. Uh, different clothes options. Okay. Uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet players will have kind of like an orange uniform for the... So Scarlet's going to give orangey... Cool. Whereas Violet school players uniform. will have... Is, is this supposed to be like Harry Potter vibes? Because it's giving me some Harry Potter vibes right now with what I'm seeing here, but... We'll see. Have a purple or blue. Okay, I, I rest my case. Harry Potter vibes. Blue kind of color scheme. Okay, so blue versus red. There's an example of the blue. The girl in the front, I assume, is going to be for the their stylized. Uh, starting out, at least. You'll also have two different professors if you're okay. playing with so two different professors. Let me, the, let me back that up. So uh, starting out, at two least. different professors. You'll also have two. Uh, I saw something else about this. That this is the first Pokemon game where the professor is different on each version, which is interesting. So uh, on the left, I think is Scarlet, and on the right is Violet. But let's see what he says. But different professors. If you're playing on Scarlet, you have Professor. Yeah, Scarlet is is the girl. Sir Sada, and if you're playing on a Violet, you Violet's will have a boy. Uh, these are the starters. Okay. So we got uh, obviously Grass, Water, Fire. Oh my god, the Fire one. Dude, does the Fire one looks like um. You guys remember that show from like the '90s? It was like dinosaurs or something, or not dinosaurs. I don't know what it was. Oh my gosh. And there were like these like really creepy like Jabba the Hut looking creatures. And they were like, that's, I don't even know what the show was about. I was like, like three years old or something when it was on TV. I don't even remember. Uh, it, it totally makes me think of that. Uh, and the middle one looks like a duck and the left one looks like a cat. I mean, this is an interesting dynamic here because normally, traditionally, the grass Pokemon is the one that people do not want to pick. But in this lineup, the grass Pokemon is, is a banger. Look at that. It's like a cat. I mean, like the duck kind of gives me some Donald Duck vibes. It's kind of mediocre. And the one on the right it just looks kind of, kind of dopey. Like, I don't know. But then I guess it really depends on what are they going to evolve into, and I don't have that information at this time. I don't know if he'll go into that in this video. We'll see. Professor Turo. And that is essentially it. So let's go ahead and get into all of these exclusive Pokemon for each version. Now, 
we're gonna get in the new pokemon names i will do a big spoiler warning before we get to like the, the serious stuff so for now it's mostly gonna be old pokemon returning and, and then we'll get to the new stuff if you don't want to hear that just yet the Oh, that's also really important for you guys watching this if, if the spoilers matter I, this is my job so spoilers that's just how my life is it doesn't doesn't matter but for you guys then in mind oh i think the new exclusive pokemon for each version are a huge factor in which version you should buy so my suggestion would be just just listen to the rest of this video uh but let's go ahead and get into this so scarlet just running through has armor rouge this was the new um kind of nightly looking pokemon that was revealed a few months ago so that's just like an actual new uh, is that like a single stage evolution or a two stage or a three stage i wonder then you have stone journer that's from sword and shield you have a okay. ranguru from sun and moon okay. stunky slash stu skunting oh yeah stunky that's that's the decision maker right there boys yep stunky i'm sold you know totally from uh, diamond and pearl drift loon slash drift blim Drifloom. larvitar pupitar oh! i think i've made my decision i think i know which pokemon game i'm gonna be getting we'll see what the other one has though but Iranatar? I mean, come on, guys. Come on. I mean, everybody has to get Scarlet, right? How can you get Violet after seeing that? You just instantly decision made. And Tyranitar, those are all exclusive. Dino, Azuelius, and Hydreigon, those are also exclusive. Not familiar with that Scrub, one. and Dragal, and Maridon. So those are all your... Okay. This goes to show how many gens of Pokemon games that I've skipped. I'm like, I don't even know. I got, I got the Orangutan Pokemon or Monkey Pokemon, whatever that is. I only know that from Pokemon Go. Stunky, I know from Pokemon Go. Drifloom, I know from Pokemon um, Arceus. Tyranitar is from me being a boomer, and the other ones I have no idea. Your regular returning Pokemon. But you guys might know Rouge if you're watching this video. Our, so. our new Pokemon. But all those other ones are returning Pokemon exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet. Now we go to Violet really quick. You have right, Sarah the counterparts to Armor Rouge. Spoiler okay, alert. Uh, Armor Rouge and Sarah Ledge evolve from a different Pokemon. Uh, you can get the different one depending on what version you're playing. So if you're playing Violet, you get Sarah Ledge. If, if you're playing Scarlet, it will evolve into Armor Rouge. Then we have. Oh, wait, so you get the same Pokemon, and then what it evolves into is determined by which game. Although, to be fair, let me skip back some here. Uh, that Fire one from Scarlet does not look as cool as this one. This one looks way cooler. Let me skip back to where, yeah, so we got on the left there, the, uh, that guy. Uh, in my opinion, doesn't look nearly as cool as this one. This one looks badass. Look at that one. So, I don't know. That's pretty cool. It's a shame I don't get that, but I mean, Tyranitar. Come on, guys. Rouge and Sarah Ledge evolve from a different Pokemon. Uh, you can get the different okay. Armor Rouge. Then we have Ice Q from a Sword and Shield. No idea what that is. I, I gotta stop. The Pokemon got so trolled by Gen 7 or 8 or whatever. They're just a penguin with an Ice Q pad. I'm sorry if it's your favorite Pokemon and you're watching this, but that is pretty... Oh my god, okay. A Simeon from Sun and Moon, oh, Goldfin okay. and Swalot, Mistrivis and Miss Magius. Then you have access to the Salamence line, which is... I think that is a decision maker there. It's like, which dragon Pokemon was the one for the first game you played? Like, if the first Pokemon game you played had the Salamander Pokemon dragon, whatever. I don't even know its name, Salamance. Uh, then you might see Tyranitar and be like, that's yeah, cool and all, but Salamance or whatever, right? And I, mine was like... The second Pokemon game I ever played had Tyranitar. I'm like, nothing can ca can can beat Tyranitar because I had Tyranitar when I was like nine. You know what I mean? So is Bagon, Shelgon, and Salamence. Of course, that's a fan favorite. Same thing with Tyranitar okay. for Sky or Scarlet. That's kind of your counterpart there. Then you have Dreepy, Dracloak, and Dragapulk from a Sun and or Sword and Shield as well. Not familiar at that's all. your counterpart to the Dano line in Scarlet. That's what that's what's exclusive over there. Clauncher and Clawitzer to kind of mirror that Skrelp and Dragalg, and okay. then Karaid on the new Legendary. Now, oh, so that's the new Legendary. Actually, I need to skip back. We're at 308. So this is the legendary then okay that legendary versus that legendary uh i feel like it's apples to oranges I, I i think they're about the same final spoiler warning if you do not want to hear names of new pokemon names and of new, new pokemon. things that are happening in these games um click off okay i guess this is the spoiler warning so be warned but with that said let's get into this so in pokemon we're gonna learn names by the way Big spoiler names of Pokemon. Scarlet and Violet, there's this new thing called Paradox Pokemon, which basically means Game Freak and the Pokemon Company took old Pokemon and powered them up, gave them new types, and gave them new designs. They are tech. Wait. Somehow I feel like I'm gonna hate that, but we'll see. Technically new Pokemon. They are not forms. They have a new Pokedex number, and there are a lot of exclusive ones. Basically, everyone is. Ex I gotta stop. Do you know what that? Let me translate what he just said. Game Freak came out and said. 
we ran out of ideas for new Pokemon, guys. We're just all out of ideas. We like like candle Pokemon, uh, ice cube head penguin. Like we just can't think of anything else, man. We we thrown everything at the wall. There's nothing left. So we're just gonna take old ones and revamp them. <laughs> That's what that sounds like, really. Exclusive. I don't think there's one that's shared between both games. So let's just go ahead and get into this. This is, I, in my opinion, like the determining factor of if you should buy, you know, each ver which version, depending on which Pokemon you like more. I can't show images in this video, but I'll tell you their typings, and you can. I am assuming he means he can't show images because of like a non-disclosure agreement. I would assume. Find the images online somewhere if you if you look. Yeah, hard yeah. If he falls up with that, because we'll take sure. down the video. So starting off, this one was confirmed. We have Great Tusk, which is a Don fan at Paradox. It is okay. ground fighting type. Really cool design. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, and these are all for Scarlet, by the way. Scarlet has all the past forms. Violet has all the future looking forms. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Repeat that. That. Uh, and these are all for Scarlet, by the way. Scarlet has all the past forms. Violet has all the future looking forms. Scarlet has all the past forms. Violet has all the future looking forms. Oh, does he mean a, like left? So like Violet has a Dawn fan and Scarlet has a Great Tusk? That is very, I, I'm very confused what he meant by that. That, okay, we'll follow. Keep Screamtail going Jigglypuff. This is Fairy Psychic. This is Jigglypuff with a Majin Buu looking hair thing. I'm not sure I feel about it personally. We have Brute Bonnet. I thought he said he couldn't show us. He's, 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 I guess he's allowed to like visualize it for us with words you know which is a, a, ver a paradox of amungus it is grass and dark type flutter main which is mis mischievous ghost and fairy type oh my god he's you like, might notice that's a little it's weird not in order. he's going all over the place so what they've done here is you kind of get the kind of get the opposite so violet players get mischievous if you have scarlet you cannot get mischievous and miss magius oh, regularly without okay trade. okay but the paradox of Miss uh, okay. of Mischievous is exclusive to Scarlet. A lot of people have been confused on this because, as we get to with uh, one of these other ones, basically. If oh, okay, okay. So, oh, I guess it's not all. But Salamance, for example, was Violet only, and Scarlet you can't get Salamance, but you can get the Roaring Moon, whatever that is, version of Salamance. But not all are crossover because I know uh, Jigglypuff was not in the Violet exclusive, so. Yeah. If, if there's a paradox exclusive typically that means you can't get it in the other version um, i'll explain that more in detail okay. so then we have yeah mr vis ghost fairy slitherwing volcarona bug fighting type really cool design sandy shocks magneton that is electric and ground roaring moon salamence which is dragon and dark and once again those were all of the paradox pokemon in pokemon scarlet so scarlet so great tusk brute bonnet sandy shock screamtail flutter mane slitherwing and roaring moon are all scarlet exclusive we don't know what they look like yet but they're Scarlet exclusive, but if you like, if you're like, Dawn fan is my favorite Pokemon ever. I, I, maybe you'd want to get Scarlet so you can see the new version of him, you know, instead of having to trade it. I, I don't know. Or, or maybe you go Violet just because you want the Dawn fan. Salamence. This is a big deal. I know a lot of people are confused about this. Salamence, the regular Pokemon that you all know and love, is exclusive to Pokemon Violet. You cannot get it in Pokemon Scarlet without trading. However, the Paradox version of Salamence called Roaring Moon, which is Dragon and Dark type, has a crazy sick design. I recommend you Google it because it is awesome. That is... <laughs> I recommend you to circumvent breaking my NDA. Exclusive to I Pokemon it, Scarlet. So please great. keep that in mind. Moving on to Pokemon Violet. Here are all the Paradox Pokemon. All right, here we go. Oh, Dawn Fan again? Wait, Dawn Fan? Dawn Fan gets two? Why does Dawn Fan? Why is Dawn Fan so important? Oh, where am I at? 535? Yeah, Dawn Fan to Dawn Fan. What? Why does Dawn Fan get two? It's so. so why? Dawn Fan? Oh no! Now, now I've oh gosh, Tyranitar has a version and it's called Iron Thorns and it's Violet only. Ooh! Oh no! Wait, why are they all start with Iron? Iron Hands Hariyama, which is Fighting Electric type. Iron Jugulus, uh, Hydreigon once again. Wait, did all the others start with something like that? I fifty. No. So we all the violet ones start with iron. Once again, Hydreigon, the regular Pokemon, is exclusive to Scarlet, but the the Paradox is exclusive to Violet. That is Dark Flying type. Iron Moth Volcarona. So this is the future version of Volcarona, where Scarlet has the past. The... That is going to be a Fire God, Poison type. Up and iron down. Thorns Tyranitar, which is Rock Electric, and once again, Tyranitar. That entire line is exclusive to Scarlet. You cannot get it in Violet without trading, but Paradox Tyranitar is exclusive to Violet. I've gotten so many comments about that, so I really want to drive it home. It is okay. kind of swapped how they did it. And then the final pair. Oh, you, know, you can tell this guy must like Salamance more than Tyranitar. Because he likes Salamance, and he was like, 
that we all know and love, Salamance, and this new one, it's it's so great, you should Google it. And Tyranitar was just like a normal Pokemon, like a like a Diglett or whatever, it was just nothing to him. He must have like guy must have grown up on like Gen 4 or something. Gen 3? Paradox Pokemon to talk about today Good is Iron Salamance. Valiant, which is one of the coolest ones in my opinion. It's basically a mix of Gallade and Gallo uh Gardevoir. Okay. We're calling it Galivore here. Okay. Uh, it's fairy fighting type. The design, mm -hmm. basically, they mushed them both together, and they both kind of uh, they kind of merged them. And then okay. it's fairy fighting type. Very cool design. And that is every version. I know a lot of people love that Pokemon, so that might be cool for some people. An exclusive in a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. There may be some more subtle differences, and there might be one or two Pokemon that I we don't know about yet. As time goes on, we'll discover more. But that is every confirmed Pokemon that is exclusive to each version right now. So let me know down in the comments below, based on all of this, which version do you think wins the war right now? Which version do you think has the best exclusive Pokemon? Me personally, I like the future designs, so I'm going with <laughs> I'm going with Violet. I know that's not the popular opinion right now. I don't think that's so unfair. I, yeah, because he just knows that he knows what they look like. We don't. It's not fair. But um, I would love to know your thoughts down below. And if you found this video, so like, how, how can I give him my thoughts? We don't know what the future ones. Look. I guess he's assuming we Google it first. Video informative. But please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really does help me out. And you won't miss any of my upcoming Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos. And I'll be streaming on release saying all these fun things. I'm almost beat. I'm almost beat the game. So I'm getting there. I, obviously, I showed my copies. I got it early. Um, and go check out my early impressions. I'm so jealous, dude. I wanted it early. I wanted it early. Oh well video that has like 27,000 views crazy support on that you know for a new video on my channel so thank you all so much really do appreciate it i'm done rambling enjoy the rest of your evening that is not i want to i want to stop this guy there that is not rambling has he seen my videos <laughs> my videos now that's some rambling all right anyway bye bye all right so that was um i already forgot what his name was uh botox media so, uh, yeah, go check that guy out. Go give him a sub if you want to, whatever. Uh, I will link his video in the description of this video if you want to see it stand alone for whatever reason. Uh, but, yeah, go check that guy out. Um, so, Scarlet versus Violet is going to come down to which Pokemon do you think are better than the other? Or maybe the mount's the selling point for you. Like, we can go back in here for just a second. The uh, Where was that side-by-side? -side? There we go. Unless the mount's going to be the difference maker for you. I guess really the mount, for some people, the mount is going to be a difference maker because you can trade Pokemon. If you have a friend, then yeah, you could in theory get the other Pokemon. Although I don't know that you'll be able... It depends because he was talking about those new ones. I don't know. Can you get multiples or those new ones in some scenario where you can only get one of each? Just like the starter Pokemon or something, right? If that's the case, then it's a lot harder of a decision. If the, uh, say, the Tyranitar thing, the Iron, whatever it was called, or the Salamance one, whatever its alternative was, if you can catch unlimited of those, even if it's at a rare drop rate, then, yeah, it doesn't matter, right? I guess literally the mount is all that matters if you have a friend to trade with. If you don't have a friend to trade Pokemon with, though, then everything changes, obviously. And then the mount, you know, things matter more than the mount. As for the mount, uh, I think the one on the right is cooler, personally, the blue one. I think that it looks better. Uh, and then also, I guess you could go, what's your favorite color? Do you like red or do you like blue? And the same kind of thing for the um, Harry Potter clothes at the school, apparently, that we go to. We go to some school, I guess. Um, but yeah, and then it comes back down to uh, version exclusives and those whatever. So uh, I'm going to have a tough decision. I thought I was sold on Scarlet. But now I know there's some form of Tyranitar that I'm not, I can't see yet. I'll have to Google or something. Then... I know it's all it's all about this Tyranitar for me, but for you guys, it's gonna be the same pr thing probably for whichever Pokemon. So whether it's Tyranitar or Salamance or uh, Ice Head Penguin or the Legendary, right? Or version exclusive, you know. And we got Legendary, we got this thing that again evolves from one to the other. Which again, I think the Violet version looks way cooler. So if the if the Tyranitar alternative looks cooler than a normal Tyranitar, then Violet's my go-to probably. I'm, I might just go with Scarlet. I don't know what I'll pick. I'll pick something. Um, but yeah, so that was a pretty cool video. I'm glad somebody got it early so we could check it out before. You know, what's really important about this is being able to check this out before we buy it. Because, like, if if there's no videos like this, then, like, for pre-ordering or pre-downloading and all that, like, I have, I'd have no idea what to get if this information wasn't just out there. So I'm glad that somebody out there was able to get early access. So, yeah, that was Botox Media. Check out his video. Check out his channel. Give him a sub. Help him out. Uh, but that is everything here about the uh, what are the differences between Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet.